going on Airsoft? This is Brian here at Exclusive Airsoft. Uh, finally making this video for you guys since a lot of my customers have been asking for descriptions and reviews on my products. Um, we'll start off with the Kydex. As you can see I got a whole array of uh, Kydex uh, quality um, equipment that I make here and um, we'll start off with our basic. We have pretty much our regular um, gun holster, the stuff you're usually typically used to seeing. Um, fits good, retention's good, quality's good. We typically use um, 0.80 thickness, which is uh, your average thickness. Um, anything thicker than that is uh, too costly for the customer. Anything thinner is uh, too poor of quality. Um, what I actually do differently is uh, I developed what's called our contour line, which actually contours the pistol, makes it a little bit smaller so that it's sturdier and it stays on your belt and any of your equipment. And retention is real nice you can shake it you can throw it you can do whatever you want it's not coming off unless you need it to come off it goes in stays in you can have pretty much it any way you want any colors um, pretty much uh, sky's the limit I mean you tell me how you want it and we make it happen um, we have our regular style mag holder which retention wise it's like putting it in a gun I mean you can hear it for yourself it goes in, it's not going nowhere, you can shake it all you want, you can throw it, you can hit somebody in the face with it, it ain't going to do nothing. It comes out when you need it to. Also have here, uh, for any of you, you uh, grenade users, you can throw your grenades right in there, hold them in, they're not going nowhere, put it on your belt loop, malice clips, attachment, however you uh, want to do it. Speaking of so, which, we also have a few different types that we can use to put on your uh, Kydex. We have your soft malice clips which come in coyote brown, your OD green and your black. Um, pretty much adjustable. You can use them for belt, you can use them for your molly attachments, you can uh, pretty much put them on and with anything. Um, if you're into belt using we do have two styles of clips. We have your big silver style clips, stainless steel, and then we have your smaller more discreet black clips for things that I like to use for your Thunder Bee holsters, your small Thunder Bees. They fit right in, clip right out. You can pretty much put this anywhere, put it on your back for a teammate. Um, it works however you want it to. It holds, it ain't going nowhere, it's strong. You can bend it, you can pull it. It's always gonna stay in shape. We've also developed our regular mag double stack, which means that you can actually take an M4 mag, put it in, put it in the front, and you could take one out, put the other in. You can have two at a time, you take one out, the other one's not going to fall out, whether it's in the front or the back, they're both independent. Also held on by whatever attachments you want to put on. You can put on a molly, you can put on your belt, upside down, right side up. It does not make a difference. And for those of you that do not want to take up a lot of space on their vest or your belt or whatever the case may be, and size is an issue, I have also developed the Fast Mag. This is the exclusive Aerosol Fast Mag. Also uses Molly, uh, uh, Molly Malice attachments or belt clips, whatever you'd like. You can buy them in singles, put the single mag in there, it won't come out. Or you can actually take two and use our terminal bolts, which is pretty much this hardware right here. Um, the way it works is you pretty much have one end that's flat that goes on the inside, wherever the mag or gun or whatever is going, and you have the other side that's a flathead. You basically screw them together and you would actually put the bolt through here and it will go through there it would attach here and it would essentially make it a double stack mag so now you can put mags in both areas and you would pretty much save space and if you really wanted to go crazy you can add two three more and just have a whole step worth of mags I don't think anybody wants to be crazy with that but you know it's an option you definitely can do it for those of you who have the bigger uh, tornadoes or bigger um, smoke grenades or thunder bees, we do have the double and I also make the single. It has a little uh, L-shaped bracket so when you put it in it does not fall out. This has a lot of material so you can actually put a green gas canister here if you chose to. You can put the grenade, two tornadoes, however you want for you, for a partner. It doesn't make a difference. It will work. It will hold. Like I said, you can stretch this as far as you want. It'll always go back to its original shape. Retention will always be there. It's just another example of another Kydex holster right here for a 
um, 701 revolver goes in, stays in, will not come out. You can shake it, you can do whatever you want. Only comes out when you want it to. Again, nice and contoured to the pistol, not this big bulky thing that you're used to, this big block that gets uncomfortable at times and it's not really uh, very effective. Um, pretty much the way it works with us is uh, we try to compete with um, everybody as far as pricing goes. Um, we try to give everybody the best uh, pricing with quality. I also offer warranty. I don't know a lot of people that are doing that, but you know, Exclusive Airsoft does offer warranty. Anything on these holsters or anything that's made as far as the material, retention, or any of the rivets. If rivets break or uh, crack, anything like that, I will replace them at no cost to you. If the tabs break, the clips, any of that breaks, I will replace it at no cost to you. If you ever lose retention, which I've never heard of, but if retention ever got funny or the gun did not fit right or anything like that, I would remold it and fix it. And if I could not do that, I would make you a whole new holster at no cost to you. And that's all written in paper. Everybody, everybody who uh, purchases anything from me gets that in the warranty. And um, pretty much it's that simple. I mean, you don't get a better warranty than that when it comes to a Kydex at an affordable price. Um, we offer pretty much any color. I mean, we always stock black, coyote brown, OD green multi-cam AOR1 we do also get um, urban camo and uh, we're working on getting the ATAX as well that should be in relatively soon um, we do not use Loctite I'm not a fan of using Loctite on terminal bolts for the reason of if you ever did need to disassemble it or take it apart to switch clip types or just to uh, you know take it apart for the hell of it Loctite is not a friend of aluminum pieces or even stainless steel because it becomes a pain and then it never screws in right, it messes up threading, it's not really meant for stuff like this. So what we do is we use little small rubber grommets which when compressed they try to decompress and in doing so it keeps the screw from coming loose. So pretty much it works, you can take it out whenever you want but it will not come apart, the screws won't start falling out on you, you won't have any issues with that. Um, and that's pretty much it with the Kydex. Um, we um, we pretty much do whatever you want. If there's something that I haven't made yet and you want me to make it, I can make it for you with no problem. Um, touching back on the double stack mag, you can also, the way I have it designed, attach terminal bolts to the side and add them together to make multiple pou uh, pouches, um, which would pretty much look something like this that we have here on a plate carrier. We have all three of them together doesn't take up that much space, pretty much the same amount of space that it would take up if you had your regular cloth uh, pouches. And again, you stick the grenade, you stick the uh, clip, I'm sorry, you stick the, uh, the M4 mag right in there, front, back, doesn't make a difference on any of these pouches. And it's there, it's quick draw, you can put it in, hang it upside down, it's not going to come off, it's going to stay there. Um, also works for your gun mags here on my personal rig I have set up in line all one solid piece with four you can hear the retention on it for my USP compact mags and um, pretty much the way this works is it's all one solid molded piece formed to the uh, to the magazines and if you look in here, the way this is designed, you can actually take a look right here and you'll see that the terminal bolts, they actually self-adjust. So this actually sinks in when it's not in use and when it is in use, it comes out and it causes the uh, retention factor which keeps the magazines in place and essentially keeping them from falling out upside down running doesn't make a difference doesn't take up a lot of space it's right there on the front plate carrier I mean you can literally see it's right here it's accessible everything works out for all of you Polar Star users I also make the tank rig this tank rig is specifically for a 4500 PSI um, comes with the paracord bracelet right here which you can 
pretty much put here. It holds the bottle in place. So if you were to fall upside down or hang upside down because you decided to be a bat for a day and shoot people upside down, it'll work. Um, it won't go nowhere. It's protection on the bottom, on the sides, on the top. Um, it'll hold in. We do it for all sizes. The, um, the big ones, we do it for um, the 45s, the 3000s, the 9000s, 9, whichever size tank you want, we can accommodate. Um, it's all the same price. These are attached, obviously, with the malice clips. Um, again, you have different options of attaching, but this works the best. You can put it anywhere you want. You can put it sideways. You can put it right side up, upside down. It will not make a difference. We also do make tournament locks for the um, Kydex, um, with the Kydex for your tank. Um, also, for all of you uh, cigarette users, we are making Kydex cigarette pouch holders, so now you don't have to worry about your cigarettes getting crushed in, a, uh, in your pocket, um, staying fresh. Um, for all of you cell phone users that choose not to leave your cell phone in a locker or in a bag, you're afraid somebody might take it or do anything like that, we are making uh, cell phone pouches so you can carry your cell phone on you and not worry about a BB hitting it and breaking a screen or anything like that. But pretty much uh, that's all you know. we have for uh, the Kydex. Um, touching on our next, um, our next product is pretty much our custom paint jobs. We have two options and finishes. We have your gloss finish, which obviously is shinier, um, you know, just as durable as the flat, but you know, it's a lot shinier. The details stand out more. This is more for the guy who wants to have, you know, the real fancy thing on the field and isn't too worried about being seen from light shining and making it all bright and stuff. Um, other than the gloss, we have our flat finish something like this on my personal Polar Star. Obviously it has a little sheen to it because gloss is going to need some type of protection but it's a lot flatter. The light does not shine as bright as it does on the gloss. Um, this is done in a red, black and gray digi camo. Um, we can do anything. We can do multicam, all your Milsim paint jobs. We can do snake skin. We can do AOR1, AOR2, we can do Marpat, we can do Woodland, we can do whatever you want. If you really want to get fancy and you want to do designs, as you see here, as a customer requested, we can do designs, whatever you want. We can do names, we can do airbrush, we can do all the fine line detail, this stuff will not come out. Um, on my next video, I will have a video of me taking my personal Polar Star and shooting this gun with the paint job at point blank range to see how durable this clear is and how durable the uh, the paint is and the reason for that is because my background I actually own a performance and body shop and pretty much what I do is I paint cars for a living I do custom work I um, do custom paint jobs do custom airbrushing so I know how paint works I know how lacquer works um, I know how things finish, how they should be finished, how to buff out paint, how it should dry, the whole technique, everything that's behind it in order to give you a strong and durable paint job that will last in the field of play. Um, warranties also with my paint job, you know, um, it's like a car. If you crash it or you hit it with something, you will get a scratch. If you don't, it'll last you forever. It's not just going to fade out. It's not Krylon spray paint cans. It's not the paint you go buy at Home Depot. This is good quality paint that is made to last. This is why you are paying for what you, you get, what you pay for essentially. So you want a good job done. We will definitely take care of you. We will do our best to accommodate you with any of your needs. Any custom work we can do, anything you want, you name it. You know, we're working on custom Kydex Sappy plates that we're making now, um, which I'll have a review on the next video. Um, pretty much essentially we do whatever it is that you need us to do. Um, any kind of custom work that uh, you need done, whether it be paint, whether it be Kydex, whether it be um, custom decals. Um, I'll show you a little clip in a little bit of uh, custom uh, decals that we do. And um, we can make decals for your team with vinyl. Uh, basically, we have a, a vinyl cutter that does um, all of uh, our cutting. 
for your logos, maybe you want to put on your car, decals on your guns, whatever the case may be. We also do screen printing, so if you got, if you guys have teams out there that want your logo on a t-shirt, or you want it on a hat, or you want a uh, custom bandana with your logo on it, we do that too. Um, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's uh, you know, hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe, and uh, you guys got any questions, uh, my information will be posted below. Um, email me, call me, Facebook is uh, Exclusive Airsoft. And uh, have a good one, guys. I'll see you on the next video.